Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to John Wick Hex where we have more Continental Coins to work with and some new bonuses. I'm actually pretty curious about this. It says this one increases our maximum focus from 10 to 13. I don't actually know how the thresholding on the focus bonuses works because we definitely um, we get bonus aim on our shot, a bonus hit chance on our shot for having high focus and I think we deal more damage with some of our melee attacks with high focus. And I don't know if increasing our max will leave those thresholds where they are, or if they're uh, designed to be at a percentage of our our max. So I don't. This is probably pretty good, but also it doesn't really feel necessary, right? We haven't been running out very much as long as we remember to refocus frequently. Uh, I think so far the moving penalty on incoming shots seems really good. I think we we want to stick with that. And then with 10 more, I would take the push thing because it's effectively free. And we're better at shooting people while they're moving, or I honestly don't know. Okay, if the game keeps getting harder, and we keep getting rushed by more dudes who have more health, it is probably the case that um, we're going to get run up on uh, by melee guys more often, so maybe a reduction in the dodge cost. Like that's that seems like a thing that we might get the most use use out of. None of this is really blowing my mind, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's try it like this. I have no idea what we're uh, what we're looking at here. I probably should have read the text there. Whatever. We know how the game works at this point. All right, security guard with a revolver. I mean, we probably just cap him immediately, right? Well, we at least we try to cap him immediately. Oh, there's a dude right there. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Since we know that guy is right there, he's about to come around the corner, I think we just go for a normal strike here. Hey, John, go for a normal strike here. That took longer than I was hoping. Well, the gun throw is guaranteed to hit. All right, execute a takedown in a way that leaves us in cover from the rest of the room. And this guy is still alive. Alright, tell me the person I just saw. Good. What I was about to say is tell me the person I just saw does not have a gun. Plenty of time to walk across the room. Oh, this is complicating though. Okay, so I want to do... We definitely want to do a takedown into cover here, right? I think what we have to do is wait a little bit. Oh no, that complicates things though. My plan was going to be take down over to, like, this direction to put this between me and him, but we're not going to be able to do that anymore. So now... Now the play is just, like, run? Just take advantage of the fact that our movement makes us hard to hit? We could potentially throw our gun... Why did the... the we don't get movement we don't get movement control again until the end of the pink area of the timeline, right? So if I throw my gun at this guy, I'm still definitely going to get shot. Yeah, it has to be this. This is not exactly working out the way I wanted. I'll tell you though, they they've definitely made it more difficult, which is what I I, I said I wanted them to make it more difficult. Ow. Well, I'm gonna actually move forward. Just I'm just trying to break line of sight from that guy. Listen, sometimes John Wick gets shot. I've seen those movies. All right, could be worse. I think I just heard a door sound. Uh, maybe not. All the doors look closed. Okay. Seems like an okay time to reload. Maybe I should get into cover before doing things like that. But we're gonna run out of uh, we're gonna run out of our our normal handgun uh, use really quickly here, which is a shame. I like this gun quite a bit. Oh, the metal detector makes noise. That's that's a nice touch. I don't know if I'm actually gonna get a shot off here. Oh, well, if he's going to stop and let me. 
It is a little bit disappointing that the, uh, the metal detector didn't go off when I threw the gun through it. I don't know enough about how, uh, how they function in the real world to know if, if it would. Like, I don't know how long you have to... How long the thing has to be in the read area before it goes off or whatever. But that, that also would have been a nice touch. Yeah, we are running out of ammunition rapidly. Uh, I think I'm just gonna run up on this guy. I guess we definitely put ourselves at risk by doing that. And there's guns all over the place. Yeah, let's just shoot him first. I have enough bullets to feel comfortable for the moment. Let's go hit the hit the elevator button here. I wonder how long I'm going to have to wait before it becomes uh, actually available. So I'm just going to step over here and do I want to... 3.2 seconds. Having more stuff in the world that is actually time limited would, would be kind of neat. Alright, what do you think? How many guys are in there? At least two... All right, good shooting, John. Unfortunately, not quite sufficient. <laughs> okay, they're all they're all very tough. Just two though. I feel like they're not taking me seriously here. That was a fun area. The game is, is definitely better when it's harder. I guess that's, that's true of a lot of games. The gallery is closed. All that remain are Yoshiko's personal guard. So even tougher guys. Actually, probably guys of the same toughness, if I had to guess. Oh, this seems risky. Well, they're both in a pretty long guard action. So like, if I just went for the shots here, we would get control back in time to probably be able to dodge out of that guy's fire. Nope, he, uh, he got to act really quickly. The good news for us is he's as bad of a shot as I am. Wow, I really only got one of those? And yes, I know, I've left us without a gun. It's alright, I don't feel too bad about it. We're gonna... We're gonna just run right up on this guy. He is going to miss because of my incredible powers of persuasion. Hey guy, don't you want to miss your shots? See, I, t I told you that would work. I have to do it. You have to make it sound like it was his idea, that's all. Alright. I'll take that, and then where the hell are we going? Like, obviously we gotta deal with this brawler, but let's, let's deal with him in the direction of... That is a locked door. Okay, we're gonna have to take the long way. We'll deal with him in the direction of the other enemies here. I probably should not open the door to a new area with him still walking around. Okay. Only one guy immediately visible with his gun pointed at me? These guards are getting soft, man. I just <laughs> forgot to initiate his melee maneuver. Ooh. Okay, that guy is... We have, we have two chances here. If either one of these bullets hits, he doesn't shoot at me. I think it's perfectly reasonable to go for the shot. That time was maybe a little greedy, because if I had missed the first bullet, he had me. Please give me your vastly superior weapon. It is a shame that all of them are walking around with empty magazines, though. I could really use some more bullets here. It's like these guys weren't even thinking about what I wanted when they engaged their tactics. It's just rude. I'm a guest, you know? Tell you what, the one thing that John Wick uh, dislikes more than almost anything else is uh, a lack of hospitality. Obviously, cruelty to dogs is also pretty high on the list. 
I'm not sure if it's a good idea to plant and fire for this long with that guy coming through the... So he's going to be ready to do something in one second, and then 1.2 seconds after that, I get to move again. I think if I plant my feet and start shooting here, I'm going to get shot before I finish firing. So let's... Let's maybe take some cover. He's moving to a place where he won't be able to see me. Yeah, okay, that worked pretty much the way I thought it was going to. We're going to just do it again. I have very little ammunition remaining. Come on. Break line of sight. Okay. As the guns get bigger, the uh, the hit chance with the throw seems to get lower and lower, which I think is actually pretty sensible. Fortunately, these guys do not get any better at fighting in melee combat. Although we are getting to the point where it takes a really long time to beat one of them that, that way. Alright, once again, wish this thing had more ammunition in it. What are you going to do? When you think about it, it's kind of a brilliant strategy, right? Like, if you just leave your guys vastly underprepared, then John Wick can't take their guns from them and kill you with them. Definitely an intentional strategy. These statues stand as gods, but like all of Yoshiko's work, they are false. I mean, listen... If a counterfeit is good enough that people can't tell it's a counterfeit, isn't that the same as it being real? Is within the yard world. No is, by the way. That's the answer. Is inescapable. It will be spoken of decades after her death. An immortality so few in our profession enjoy. I wonder how that history would be told if her full body of work was exhibited in public. Art has always served power. It has bought favor and influence. It has rebuilt civilizations and moved mountains. It has killed old gods. In which case, John Wick belongs in the Pantheon. I look forward this to is bad. a posthumous retrospective of his work. Yeah, this is bad. I'm gonna get shot. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another... Oh, there's another shooter. Okay, um... Do we have a move that's better than... The takedown on this guy wouldn't even finish him. Maybe I should just run. Like, try to make it over here. We could break line of sight from that guy with the takedown. But not before he shoots. Yeah, I think we run. This is definitely, like, a really bad scene, man. I don't want to come around the corner too early, because I don't want this guy to start drawing down. There we go. That's what I needed. I think if I go for the finish right now, it's going to end with me getting shot, so I'm going to make a move for a gun. Please tell me that's not a man with a gun. Okay, the parry doesn't do any actual damage, but it'll get me out of this at least. Ooh, okay, it's getting to be a little crowded in here. So he's stunned very briefly. I think I'm... Do I think I'll pull this off? If I can get the shots off, but I'll but I'll get hit afterward, I think that's an okay trade. I'm gonna try it. Mm, I only get the first one. Well, that's real bad. That's really bad. Okay. Take down, because I need to end up over here. Then I shoot you a couple of times, or just once. Once is fine. Uh... Okay. One down, and then that guy just fired, so he's not a threat again for a moment. 
I was not even looking at the timeline when I clicked takedown. I'm just so used to hitting takedown. Okay, that was that was an interesting situation. Let's try that again. This time maybe be a little bit less quick to throw the gun at people. Yoshiko is renowned within the yard world. Her influence, her power is inescapable. It will be spoken of decades after her death. Uh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to drop that gun here. You know, profession and joy. I wonder how that history would be told if her full body of work was exhibited in public. Art has always served power. It is okay, him doing a push there probably was actually good for us. Nations and moved mountains. It has killed old gods. In which case, John Wick belongs in the pantheon. I look forward to exhibiting a posthumous. Man, this is a good gun. Okay, that has made life way easier. Getting rid of that guy nice and early is a big deal. Now we gotta make it to another gun, though. I don't quite have takedown on either of them, huh? Alright, well, the takedown on the one will actually defeat with the takedown. And over on this side... I think we're good... Maybe I'm maybe I'm speaking too uh, too soon here. I think we might have taken down everybody. All right, let's grab this thing and keep moving. Uh, the carbine is great though. I bet we'll get pretty limited access to that weapon. I probably should have just meleeed him. Actually, we we could have saved the ammo. Now see, this guy, this guy I'm happy to shoot. Come on, let me, let me execute a strike. I definitely heard a door noise, but I do not know where from. I mean, we, we gotta make it to the, the button, right? Like, let's, let's focus. Oh, that's a problem. Two problems, because now I don't have any bullets. 16 seconds! Okay. That's a... That's a big problem. Oh, John, not a good time to be missing. Hey, there's a dude right there. Five seconds left. Uh, I don't see anybody else. Let's go for the takedown into the room, because I really want to be close to the elevator. Did we get another door sound? Uh, that's still closed. That's still closed. I mean, obviously there's going to be dudes in the elevator, right? What is the smart way to deal with this group of enemies? Oh wow, there are a lot of dudes in the elevator. Holy crap! Okay, so I do not have time... Man, wait, whose strike is this? That Oh, that guy. That guy's performing a strike in a, in a space I don't have to think about. Let's do a takedown here. This is one of those takedowns that's about buying me space so that I can... Uh, Ready for the next melee enemy. It's getting a little a little heavy. Uh, can I take down I can take down in this direction? I'll already be moving by the time the shot goes off, so I think we might be okay. Oh actually I broke line of sight. I wasn't even really I wasn't even ugh, wasn't even expecting that. That dude is not <laughs> He is not as dead as I wanted him to be. Uh, okay, well, we don't really have a move except to parry. And then... Throw gun. Ah. Yeah, and then I needed to, uh, needed to be able to do a thing. Uh, now I need to be able to move. Can I... Okay, there we go. Uh, 
That's that's not ideal. Uh, it's interesting that striking one enemy seems to cancel the ability of other enemies to interact with me. Oh no. A throw gun is a little bit faster than strike. Okay. Yeah, this is what happens when your focus gets low, man. You lose all of your... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That was incredibly lucky. We may, we may just have to bandage at the beginning of the next area. That was fun. And the public gallery stands another. The staircase will take you there. I will say though it didn't it didn't feel like it was working as intended that I was able to keep resetting the enemy's behavior by just punching like I would punch one guy and it would make the a different guy lose what he was doing. John. How are you gonna just miss? I'll tell you what, he's losing he's losing his taste for the game. Okay, getting really lucky a lot here. How long does it take to pick the gun up? Long enough that I will definitely get shot doing it. Crouch and roll dramatically at this guy. And then I'm adjacent to him and I can't punch him. That's not a great plan. Take down close to the wall so the other dude can't see me. Okay, uh, they can, in fact, see me. It's not really working the way I wanted it to. Run! Ooh. These areas are getting savage. New gun. Refocus. Somebody just came through a door somewhere. It's probably up there, right? No, maybe not. Well, okay. Wherever it was, it's not my immediate concern. Stay close to the walls. Oh, I see him. It's generally bad news for the other guy. Alright. Solid shooting, Mr. Wick. Boy, I can't I thought this was just like a flat, like, steel floor or something. It didn't even... The graphics in this game are a little bit baffling to me sometimes. It's a good thing it is turn-based. Well, it's not... not turn... you know what I mean. Alright, just keep moving. Keep moving fast. Uh... We don't know. I, actually, I do know. There's a ton of guns up there. We can we can safely just do this the fast way. Uh, those revolver guys are pretty much never a threat. It's actually really nice. Oh, never mind. Shoot this guy instead. Oh, hey, it's another dude. Let's maybe, uh, maybe deal with that. I wonder... It's probably clear by now that I have some problems with this game. But I wonder if throwing a gun at somebody so hard they die is ever going to stop being funny. I mean, John's got an arm on him. You gotta give him that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that man is heavily armored. That is maybe a woman. That person is heavily armored. Uh, I mean, we should see what happens. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb here and guess this is not going to work quite the way I want it to. Uh, you know what? It still deals the damage. And a takedown at this point is actually lethal. See, it makes a little bit more sense that that interrupts their, their martial arts stuff, because, you, you know, you're... You end up in a very different place than they were expecting you to be. That's not even going to finish him. Jesus. Tough dudes. I'm actually allowed to leave, it looks like. I'm just going to try to leave. I don't have to fight that guy. You know, John, you don't have to kill everyone.
I don't think we get judged harshly for leaving people alive, so... Yoshiko's true art. Forgeries. That's not really where the semicolon... Okay. Hollow to smuggle Hex's most ex uh, exclusive exports. It is weird that Hex uses such a large and easily identifiable symbol. Right? Like, how... Uh, what? I I'm not here to critique their crime. Stubbins did not damage too much of her merchandise. No, Jonathan's like an elegant bull in a china shop. Her exclusive collection is on sale in the same gallery. Of course. So many people sleepwalk through this city without turning a corner, whispering a hushed word, or opening a door to our world beneath. And they miss great works. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. I presume. Our world has no time for beauty. But if you peel back the surface, beneath the bourgeois veneer, you might find... Unlicensed firearms. Drugs. I was going to say... Meaning. Our world has no time for beauty is an absurd thing for somebody in... The John Wick assassin underground to say, because like the whole thing of the of these films is that it's a bunch of assassins who value aesthetic over almost everything, except for John Wick, who's about effectiveness and that's why he wins, right? Like, especially if you've if you've seen the third movie, I feel like that was maybe not even subtext anymore at that point. That was just the actual text. Uh, I have time to pick this up. Well, I sure am letting this guy take a lot of shots at me. Maybe gotta tighten up my maneuvers here. Uh, you know what? I can probably wait a second here and finish this off with a strike. In fact, I can probably run up on this guy too, right? I'm gonna go for the takedown. I, I think we just need to we need to speed it up a little bit. Strike strike is effective, but it's also slow. That guy might have been a mannequin. I think it's possible I just murdered a mannequin. Alright, let's keep going. Is he... sorry, is he in a table? He's standing partially in a table. That man is part table. Foes such as John Wick has never had to deal with before. <laughs> it's like, what did I do? Why'd John have to shoot me? What was I... I was just being... I was helping hold this light up? Mr. Hex said, you know, this is very important. Don't let this light fall on the ground no matter what you do. And I was just doing that. John Wick, he's a jerk is what he is. More like, more like jerk, Wick. Got him. That'll show him. Maybe now he'll think twice about murdering everyone. I don't know what to do. This is bad, actually. I don't want to engage in combat here. I want to move around to the side. I'm, just trying, I'm trying to finish this guy off with a melee attack in a way that doesn't get me shot. I think it's too much to ask for. Ooh, this is not ideal, because I have to parry here, which means... Okay, the takedown's good enough, so I just have to I just have to take down in a way that gets me out of this guy's line of sight. That kind of worked. I mean, he definitely still shot at me. This feels way more like the thing that I was hoping the game was going to feel like, although if I'm being honest... My expectations for the game were maybe a little unreasonable. I, we'll talk about it in some more detail um, some other time when I'm not actively playing. Oh, hey, Assault Rifle Guy. What's up? Well, that's not what I... This guy was way out in front of me, planning-wise. Okay, well, I'm just glad we have a lot of focus right now. You also get takedown. Takedowns for everybody. Okay. 
I'm feeling relatively prepared for the next area. I appreciate that they bump you up to three health if you uh, leave an area with under that. It's like just enough to get the job done. From here, Yoshiko ships her work around the world. Her men defend it well. Eh. I mean, they try. They try to defend it well. They do their best. Uh, we can definitely just melee this guy out, right? That's pretty bad. Um, I don't think... I'm not going to be able to throw my gun at him or anything. Let's just... Ow. Well, now you've done it. I'm probably just going to discard this in a second anyway. I heard a door and it sounded like it was over here somewhere. Might be far enough away that we don't have to worry about it right this second. Ooh, shotgun guy. Okay. Well, you know, he has a... His icon is a little bit boss-like. I wonder if we have to, um... Oh no, we can we can hit him with normal shots. I was gonna say, I wonder if we have to treat him like a boss in terms of uh, meleeing him out first. But we are definitely going for the takedown. Why would I take down in this direction? What am I thinking? I have time. I'm going for it. Alright, so now we're going to need to execute a dodge this way. I'm not going to use the shotgun just yet. Wow, those guys really... They really, <laughs> they really got out ahead of me on that one. Right now, I am just... Just trying to get to a place of relative safety. The dude with the gun is just wandering around ineffectually over there, which I really appreciate. He's right at the edge of my vision. I don't remember which direction he's walking. If he's walking this way, we have enough time to strike and move. But I think he's going this way, and I'm a little worried that if I... I'm, I'm going to go for the strike, but I'm a little worried we might get shot here. Yep. <clears throat> okay. That's a, that's a tough one. I really want to try that shotgun. There definitely weren't two guys right on top of each other here before, right? Think I'm right about that? Damn it, John. Maybe I should bandage. I'm not even sure that I have the opportunity to do it at this point. Like... There's a lot of enemies. Man, his shotgun only has three rounds in it. Well, I still want to try it, though. So shooting this guy... Okay, shotgun does a lot of damage. Like, a huge amount of damage. Also, though, this guy's just walking up to me. I think we can probably do melee on him. Are you... Okay, you do not have a gun, I don't think. I know, I'm suffering a repeated fatigue penalty here, but it... I mean, it's gonna be good enough. That's the wrong camera button. Uh, the, there's another person coming in already, huh? John, you are not fast enough. Okay, so we kind of have to get moving here. I'm gonna do a takedown over here, just try yeah, try to give me some time before whoever that is shows up. All 
Alright, then we're just gonna take the new shotgun. And try to get the hell away from these doors. I probably should just shoot him, right? Jesus. Everybody is... Everybody is always right on top of us. I don't really want to have to... Alright, we probably should. I need to get this done quickly so that I can do this. Shotgun's neat, but I don't I just don't think we have the time to use it right now. That's a bad place for that gun to have dropped. Okay. Get moving. I have no ideas if I have no idea if these doors are gonna keep spawning people infinitely as long as we're near them, but I think that might be what's happening. So am I going okay, I'm going that way. I would just so much love to get to keep moving. <laughs> it's just an open-handed slap. I saw that. I, I get it. Some, you panic, get that fight-or-flight reflex going, and sometimes it makes you slap somebody. It's okay, there's no embarrassing stories about John Wick. He kills everybody who knows all the embarrassing stuff. I feel like we can just... Never mind. What I was about to say is I feel like we can just move toward the door and take this guy down near the door. But, um, maybe not so much. We should definitely dodge. I really, really, really need to refocus. Do I have... Oh, I do have enough time for a takedown. Okay, break line of sight. Strike might not be a good idea. Actually, this might be a good time to, to push. Yeah, because it'll, it'll break line of sight as we're doing it. Then we can step back around here. Shoot takes forever, but throw gun means I don't have a gun. I'm gonna shoot him. Bad idea. Bad idea that I got really lucky with. I do feel bad that so much of this has been me getting lucky. But I mean, I'm still standing and they're not, so I guess I'll take it. God, if we could get one of those shotguns with, like, five or six rounds in it, Yoshiko will make her last uh, last stand in the gallery's rooftop garden. Okay, that's very cliche. She didn't fight? Of course not. Ah, it's not ideal. I was hoping I could use this to break line of sight and then just run over on that dude and melee him to death, but uh, we probably still can, actually. If I just do this and then take down in this direction, that'll give me the time I need. So I would love to have ammo in this machine pistol still when this is all over. Okay. This is a big area. Oh, hold on, my camera is a little too far out. Where am I? I'm going that way. Okay, lots of opportunity to duck around things and get lost in here. What did I just see? Is that a, that is a person with a gun? Okay. Well, take down into cover seems pretty smart. Oh dear. That took so long to execute. Okay, the, fortunately, these are revolver guards. Oh, that was the wrong way to go. Uh, again, fortunately, revolvers. Do I just, like, step to here and shoot this guy? Oh my god, it didn't kill him. I, I am flabbergasted.
Okay, this is getting a little, <laughs> a little risky. Wait a second, go for the strike. And step around the corner again, because revolver guys can never shoot you. Aha, you fool! <laughs> Damn it! How are there still more enemies? Well, I'm gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to throw our gun and then pick up this revolver and try to make it through with the revolver, revolver somehow. God, even with me getting to shoot before... guy on the ground was mocking us. Even with me getting to start my shoot action before that guy had full vision of me, he still hits first. The revol revolver is such a bad weapon. Of course not. Maybe I should be endeavoring to take this guy down in a place where his gun's a little bit more accessible. Okay, we don't see anybody else yet. I'm going to try to do this quickly in a way that doesn't cost us anything, then refocus. So I guess I could have done it in a way that cost us stuff. I was just going to refocus afterward. Boy, that didn't work at all. Okay, never mind. I do not want to take down in any of those directions. This revolver is so slow. <laughs> It's actually very sad. I feel very bad for him. Alright, solid moves there, John. That did not get me out of the line of fire. I think maybe we gotta um, keep leading them back here. Because we do have a gun stashed over here and stuff. Like, this, this is maybe a sensible way to do this. And the takedown doesn't really get me where I need to go. Step, step, strike. You know, the classic John Wick uh, two-step strike maneuver. It's the heart of his arsenal in all those movies. None of those shots could have hit this guy, huh? Oh, that's not great. Oh, boy. At least I feel a little bit responsible for that, because I managed to engineer a situation where I was moving. Oh, I don't like this at all, though. Okay, there we go. That is a huge pile of downed guys. Well, I think we're good to approach what is probably the boss room. Do I want to spend ammo? I, I think we don't. I think we want to just approach this guy and melee him out. I am getting a weird indicator. It's tell <laughs> telling me there's something over there that I haven't seen yet. It's not just talking about this guy, right? I've seen this guy. Okay. We're doing it, we're getting there. What does that guy have? That guy has a gun that I have to be afraid of. Can't say I love John's accuracy at this moment. I was going to say, I bet it's not going to be as simple as me running over there and grabbing that. But actually, most of the people we're seeing here don't have guns. So I might be okay. Uh, pick up assault rifle takes quite a while. I probably shouldn't. Oh, that guy has a that guy has a real gun. Uh, 
still, I still want to do the thing. Okay. Move. Take down to here. Oh, that guy was, he was thinking ahead. Okay, this is waist high, so... Can't actually get to cover in any way, and I don't have a gun to throw. Ah, shit. If this guy was defeated, I'd be able to just step into his space. And I'm, I'm, I can't actually move to there. I think we have to run directly away from him and hope that that makes him miss for some reason. Actually, it broke his line of sight briefly. Okay, I'll take that. I probably want to do a takedown to here, then strike you out, then move here. Oh, that did not break line of sight. I really thought it was going to. Okay, uh... Damn it. I was really close. <laughs> I got up and he was like, nope, no, never mind, I'm unconscious. All right, we're we're gonna have to bandage. This is just too—it's too treacherous to try to make it through without a little bit more health. I mean, I can safely take this guy down slowly and noisily as much as I want, because the uh, the melee dude actually can't move in on us here. All right, so now we have we have a little bit more room for error with the health. Try to get this guy's attention and draw him in here. He just walks toward me and allows me to punch him. I appreciate them all just walking right into me like that. That guy's a brawler. I might have done a bad thing here by cornering myself like this. This this is probably a mistake. Ooh, I can't execute a takedown into the, back into the corner. Uh, do I want to do this then? Maybe this is not a good idea. I can't push him. I can just go for the fast strike and then, you know. <laughs> that old John Wick chestnut. Two-step. Two-step always works. Throw gun. Of course, there's another guy with a gun. Whenever you throw your gun, it immediately spawns another man with a gun, it feels like. Uh, take down. Nope, can't take him down in a in any useful direction. Can I... S I cannot strike him and then move still, so I'll, I'll have to move first. Wait for this guy to step in a little bit more, then strike him. I need to, yeah, I need to hit this guy. Break line of sight. Grab my old gun. There we go. That took some doing, but we got through it. It's a little hard to tell what's going on here. There's absolutely, even with the penalty, there's not really much reason for me to do anything else. Until we see another man with a gun. Let me just wait. Wow, that's some really bad shooting. It's alright. The gun throw always works. 100% of the time. I don't know why people ever fire him, frankly. Uh, I should probably refocus, but we still managed to have all of our health here, so we we can probably do this. I can afford to screw up a couple of times. Alright, John, I need you to cooperate with me just like a tiny little bit here, man. I do not have any more bullets. Oh, it's a bad time for there to be another guy. Um, 
I'm not going to be able to break line of sight like this. Yep, that's bad. Uh, just keep running. Dodge. Just keep running. There we go. I need, I need a place where the hallway curves a little bit so that I can break line of sight from that gun dude a little bit better. Alright. Strike. And then... Take down to here puts me next to the gun guy and I can try to take down on him. And then because, because I'm doing any kind of... You know what these guys are? They're the... the henchmen from every kung fu movie and they never feel like it's sporting to attack you more than one at a time they will all, they will all stand around politely and wait their turn we're just gonna keep doing this until they go down John at a certain point it stops being useful to strike them in the groin like there's no way they have any feeling left you know Alright, refocus, and let's move. This is a much better gun. Although, of course, that's of somewhat limited usefulness against the boss, because we, we essentially have to have already beaten the boss before a gun is useful. I mean, they said Yoshiko didn't fight, but I just kind of assumed that that was going to turn out to be a lie. Okay, I, I guess no boss. Who would have thought the narrator might be honest with us? Oh man, and even after all that screwing around, we still did almost beat the part-time. She did not at least try. Yoshiko has maintained her position so long by knowing her limits. She didn't stand a chance against someone like Wick. She knew it. And besides, she had precise instructions. Oh, your little contingency plan? Yes. Yoshiko directed Wick to a bank in Switzerland. She gave him the details of a vault containing information on my entire operation. My grand and impressive wealth. A vault which contains no such information. No such wealth. Why put your money in a vault when you can buy the bank? My employees led Wick to the vault. And locked it behind him. Clean. How many have died attempting to take him on directly? I mean, for all the legends and stories of his skill, he's only human. Even John Wick would have died without air and water. If my men had been a little more patient. So difficult to find good help these days. Right? I mean, if they left him there, nature would have snuffed him out alone in the dark. But every fool with a gun wants to be the one who got Baba Yaga. The best laid plans of my sent men often go awry. Man, that's... That's not a story about how John Wick is a cool murder badass. That's a story about how all these guys are extremely stupid. Alright, we're not going to push on here. We're going we're gonna to stop right here for today. That's going to be it for us. Thank you all so much for watching. It's a bummer, though, man. Like, it, they, I really wish they would have told this story in a way that somehow it was John Wick who was responsible for John Wick escaping and not these guys being too dumb to kill literally anyone. Uh, come back. Uh, I, the intention here is an hour of a new a new area, roughly an hour of gameplay uh, every weekday. I think we're pretty close to the end of this, uh, but I am definitely not going to have time to record this weekend. So come back Monday for what might be the conclusion, judging from the fact that we didn't get to, like, buy anything here. I don't know. We'll see. Come back Monday for some more stuff. We're, we're definitely going to shoot some more guys. And we'll see you then.